everyone, it's Kyle with Rangeline RV, and behind me here is a brand new 2019 Cherokee 284BH. It's a brand new floor plan this year. They did a couple great features that we'll go over on the inside. Um, some tweaks to the floor plan gives a really nice layout uh, for the whole family. Uh, we're all set up for our show. It's our 50th anniversary show down here in Calgary, Alberta at the BMO Center. We have all our trailers on display here. Uh, they look really great, and we're going to take some time to go through a couple of them. Starting with this new floor plan here, uh, since it's so brand new, we don't have an exact tip-to-tip -tip measurement. It's coming in but probably just under 35 feet tip-to-tip, -tip, and it's just under 7,000 pounds. So you're still getting that nice half-ton towable uh, rating, uh, but you have lots of space inside. Of course, it's a bunk model for the kids. So we'll start on the outside, do some features, then we'll head in inside. Starting at the front here, Cherokee gives you a, a large front storage area. They do the front cap with a nice smooth tin. Uh, so it's not the ripple effect, a little bit smoother aerodynamic, easier to clean. All the Cherokee trailers are going to be prepped with solar, so you can just plug in your portable panel, uh, be ready to go there. You'll see this year they went to this nice blue and gray color with the black. What's really nice, the exterior is called a tough coat, so they did the paints, um, it's a kind of a different process being made. So the paint is actually impregnated into the tin, which is making, it's gonna make it last a lot longer. Uh, it's not gonna fade in the sun as much. And overall, you can see there's not a lot of decals or decals on the trailer. So 10 years down the road, it's gonna look the exact same, which is really nice. Coming into the door, all Cherokees do friction hinge door, which is nice, it's kind of sticky, so it doesn't slam in the wind. You have the nice Moride entry steps, super solid for the whole family. If kids are sleeping, the trailer's not rocking, you're not getting when you're going in and out. Uh, these are all standard options that the Cherokee puts on there. Oversized grab handle. This year, what's really exciting, it's really tough to get an outside kitchen without hiding it in somewhere, taking away your storage. Cherokee found a way to put a full-size outside kitchen um, hiding under the kitchen there, which is amazing. It's not taken away from your bunk space or anything like that. So this year, you get a two-burner stove, um, mini outside fridge with ice box, ice maker, you always run out of ice when you're camping, you have that thing going uh, super fast, replenishing the ice, and then you have access to hot and cold water, um, you can use this area to wash pans or anything like that, or you can spray off your feet. Cherokee always has an outside shower on the front side and the back side on most of their floor plans. Uh, this one does have it on the back side as well. On the front here you have your Bluetooth streaming outside speakers awesome with the LED blue lights goes in really well with the new paint color this year you have a TV bracket that's standard you can bring your TV from outside if you guys want to watch some game or anything like that watch a movie at night because you want to be joining the outside space of your trailer most of the time when you're camping you'll see looking at the tires here too Cherokee does on all their Cherokee lineups they're pre flip from the factory what that allows is the trailer to sit about three inches higher gives you a bit more ground clearance when you're towing uh, and it's standard from the factory, you don't have to do it aftermarket. So it's just added value already in the trailer. Coming back to the second entrance, um, second entrance directly into your bathroom, which is nice for those quick in and outs. Uh, if you just want to use your washroom quickly, or not wake up the kids, not trek through the whole trailer, you're not bringing all that dirt through the trailer, which is nice. Again, standard is your friction hinge door uh, and your steps. Something new this year, oh, I'll touch on this before, Standard on Cherokee trailers is a black tank flush. This is pretty much like a dishwasher for your black tank. So hook a garden hose up there. There's sprayers built into the tank, washes everything out. Uh, just leaves the trailer a lot cleaner. Things are smelling nicer for the long run. And then you're not have to stick a wand down the toilet. It's, it comes standard. It's a really great feature. Any RVer uh, that's coming back and looking for another trailer, is, this is one of the things that are on their top want list. Something new they little added, for all those pet friendlies, most of the time you're bringing your pet when you're out camping. They have a standard uh, a D-ring here, so you can attach, attach your uh, pet's leashes there, so they're not running around the campsite. It's a, something a little small, but Cherokee's all about those little small features, <coughs> excuse me, that build up, that make it such a great trailer. Standard on the back side here, <coughs> is you're gonna have a flip down storage rack. This is from the manufacturer, so you're not putting in aftermarket and voiding your warranty. It's good for about 200 pounds. Uh, we have the spare tire off there, but it comes on there, sits on there, folds down. That's great if you want to bring a generator, cooler, firewood, all that big item stuff that you don't want to put in your pass-through. Just throw it on there, you're good to go down the road. I've even had a customer put bikes, uh, full pedal bikes up there. And then it's prepped, prepped for a backup and observation camera. 
uh, which is really nice. This is a bit, it's getting on the bigger side of a travel trailer, so it's nice driving down the road or backing up, you can have that extra, extra viewpoint, then you're not fighting with the family when you're parking the trailer. So those are the things on the front side. On the back side there, uh, it's just gonna be your water fill up. This one's gonna be standard 46, 48 fresh water gallon size, um, and then 38 gray and black, which is still nice for a family. Good size on there. Um, so head inside, you have your full power awning with the LED strip as well too. You can pop that out. It's a nice, nice full size camp area, but we'll head inside and see some features in there. So welcome inside the brand new 284 BH. They kind of spun off their really successful floor plan last year was the 264. They got a little bigger, added some twists that would make it really nice. Starting in the kitchen area, this is going to be your standard Cherokee kitchen, um, which is absolutely amazing. They knock it out of the park. Uh, starting with, you always, counter space is so important in a trailer, so you always want to maximize that. So having the sink under mounted and your flush stove top cover there, you're able to maximize any prep space um, inside the trailer if you are inside cooking or anything like that. Uh, the glass cooktop comes up if you guys are cooking inside. Also this year they switched to a large farmhouse stainless steel sink. Absolutely massive, it's not plastic or anything. You can put your pots and pans in there. A uh, nice big wash station with a high rise faucet so you can get those big pots in there if you need to fill them up with water or anything like that. But if you're inside prepping, just put your cover back on and you have your full countertop space. It's a really nice area. You still have tons of room for coffee maker, toaster, any big appliances you want on here without uh, sacrificing your whole countertop. Eat little, again, getting on the little things. Cherokee, um, it may seem really small, but even some of our high luxury fifth wheels don't uh, put an LED light into your um, hood cover fan. So it's a really nice feature. So you're able to run that. Nice stainless steel um, microwave with the matching the hood fan. You have a six cubic foot RV refrigerator. That's dual electric and gas, which will be your standard size. You still have a nice uh, kitchen storage area. So you have over top here, there's a full depth. So you can fit full size 10 inch uh, plates in there. You're not gonna have any problems like that. You have two drawers. They do the deeper drawers. Uh, there's some extra goodies in there. Nice and deep, ball bearing uh, drawer glides. But your main storage area, it's always nice, two big things that you're never gonna trade a trailer in for, is gonna be counter space and storage. This one, you have a full dedicated pantry. I'd say it's a walk-in pantry. Huge pantry in here, uh, which you can use for both your kitchen area, or you can use it for a bit of the kids' storage there. So we have this dedicated area. In the large U-shaped dinette, Cherokee always does full pull extension drawers out. If you've ever had a trailer, you're digging in, trying to get to the back area of the dinette, you gotta take all the pillows off, it's a bit more work. Cherokee does that standard, 44 inches, full plywood, not particle or press board, which is really nice. Um, some things I like, people really like, families really like the having the bathroom um, entrance to the outside, just makes trips uh, really quick. Then you have your double over double bunks back here. Something that Cherokee does a little features again, um, coming into the bunk area, anywhere there's a sleeping area in the Cherokee trailer, they're gonna put USB ports. So on the top and bottom bunk, you have USB ports, 110 outlets, as well as down below there. Each kids get their own little light. If they're in bed, they can turn it on and off if they're reading, hanging out or anything like that. Coming into the washroom here, so nice standard features, nice big washroom. Um, you always test out the toilet, have lots of room to sit down and move around when you're looking at trailers. But they do a corner medicine cabinet and sink. Some advantages of going to the corner instead of just the straight wall. You get large deep storage underneath, so you have lots of area for all the toiletries. Same with up above in the medicine cabinet, it's a nice big corner one, so you have nice deep storage in there. In the kitchen or in the bathroom sink, you're gonna have the same um, as the kitchen sink or kitchen countertop, which I didn't touch on there, but they don't do any T molding. Uh, so it's a one piece membrane. Uh, so you don't have water being able to penetrate uh, your countertop and over time it swells and deteriorates or you have that T molding edge come off. Anywhere there's a surface like the table, countertop, um, anywhere that you can put like a drink down, condensation, anything that water can get through, um, Cherokee has you covered there. They also do a really large sink. You can get in here, you can get your hands in, wash your face, get ready for bed, all those things, it's really nice. It's not a small little one where you're just getting one hand in, in at a time.
Up here standard is a fantastic fan. This adds great value. These things aftermarket uh, Canadian with roughly six to nine hundred dollars depending on the brand to get those installed in there. They come standard on all the Cherokee trailers. These things are amazing. On a hot day you're pulling up to your campsite it's going to move 900 cubic of air per minute throughout the trailer. So you pull up to your campsite this thing is going to be a hot box. Get to your campsite, turn this fan on the highest setting. It's going to pull out all that hot air and then you're able to turn your AC on and it's going to bring your trailer down to a uh, cooler temperature a lot faster instead of just putting your AC on and trying to recuperate that air. Um, coming around this way here, just touching on a bit of the construction that Cherokee does in their philosophy. Um, so they're going to be, it's a wood frame trailer. Uh, they're standard 12 inch on center uh, studs, which is industry standard is about a 16 inch. So you're getting that stronger trailer. Uh, with your batten insulation there. Your floor is going to be a 5 8 tongue groove plywood floor. Um, so it's not a particle or press board. That 5 8 tongue groove is the same style we put in our high-end luxury fifth wheels or even a residential in your house as well too. Uh, the really thing that I like about this front area, about the Cherokee trailers, is most bunk model trailers are going to have that pocket door with two entrances. So if you're sitting on the couch or anything like that, you're, you're looking at a sharp angle watching the TV and it's not really comfortable. So if it's a rainy day, the whole family's inside the trailer, uh, people are hanging out at the dinette, hanging out at the couch, you're able to view your TV area without having to turn your necks or wreck anything. It's just a really nice functional use of space. Uh, the fireplace does give off heat. It's electric heat source. Uh, so if you want to turn that on without getting into your propane um, heating, you can turn that on, take the crisp off the cool air in the morning, anything like that. It's also a dry heat source too. So your propane is really wet. You get condensation and stuff building up. If it's really cold out, that will dry it out a little bit as well. Front door, little things again. They have hooks for your coats, um, jackets, anything like that. Hang them up there. There's a dedicated area that comes standard. Uh, you have a nice Lazy Boy recliner. This is the Thomas Payne collection. Is another thing they switched over to in the 2019 models. Thomas Payne is something you'll see in your luxury fifth wheels as well too. Um, uh, the couches, even though they don't have the Thomas Payne logo, they're all made by them, as long as any other fabric of their dinettes and stuff like that too. So you get that high end finish um, in the nice, uh, it's not an entry point trailer, but kind of in their category, you're getting the top level there. What I really like about this floor plan too, is if you want to take this out, this is perfect area for a big dog bed. If you got a big dog hanging out with you, take that chair out, put a bed there, then you're, they're not in the way or anything like that. There's lots of use to that area that you can kind of play with and customize it to your own kind of camping style. Coming in the bedroom, with, with, when they're able to angle this wall too, you get a really nice feature in the bedroom. So just come follow me in. So your standard trailer with the pocket doors, you're going to have your wardrobes on the side, overhead cabinetry, um, and two wardrobes on the either side. But having this angle like this, Cherokee 1, you get a bit more private bedroom, so you're able to close the door, you guys have your own space, and then you also have your own dedicated closet back here. Tons of room to put all your stuff in there, clothes, extra items, anything you want to keep away from the main area. It's, you don't see this in any other floor plans, which is a really nice feature. Again, touching on the USB ports, both sides, you have plugins, USB and outlets on both sides of the trailer or both sides of the bed so you're not crawling over each other. That's a full walk around bed. In the roof here, you have two AC vents because the Cherokee does do a ducted AC as well as you have an in-floor heating in your bedroom. So you shut that door, you're going to have cold air and hot air coming into your bedroom so you're not um, kind of off the climate control of the trailer that has to offer. Nice big windows, they always do a nice uh, pull down shade, no tin blinds or anything like that. Super really nice to use. And that kind of wraps up the, the brand new 284 floor plan. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to check us out at rangelandrv.com. Uh, we have this one in stock. Once again, my name is Kyle. If you guys have any feedback, uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. We're happy to help with any questions you have and thanks for watching.